Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to be do kind of an acoustic version of Brain Damage by Pink Floyd. So we've got a cool little picking pattern that's going on there over those chords, um, like they do on electric guitar. And then it, when it gets to the bigger sounding parts of the song, we're just going to strum the chords uh, to kind of better recreate it. So let's start here. We're in standard tuning. We're just with a D major chord. And I'm just doing a finger style thing here. <clears throat> I'm just going to pick the top four strings, so it's going to be that open D with the thumb, index is going to be the G string, B string with my middle finger, and then the ring finger is going to get the high E string. So you do that, and then you pick the open D, then the B, G string, and then the top high, the high E string, so the, and then back to the open D. So like this. So have, you pick the chord, then the little pattern. And repeat that again. So the beginning of the song is just kind of hanging out on this chord doing that pattern. If you want, you can strum it. Alright, so when the vocals come in, you do that twice on the D. Then, basically, same four strings, just all open except the first fret on the high E string. And then the same pattern. So. And then back to the D. Twice. And then back. Twice on that chord. Back to the D. Then move it up two frets. Same picking pattern. Now I hear the chords, uh, the pattern is going to change a little bit because we have more strings. It's a A dominant seven chord, so it's going to be barred. It's got an open A string, then a bar across the second fret on the B, G, and D string. And then grab the high E string uh, with the third fret. So pick the bottom chord. Uh, string and then the top three strings and then do the picking pattern like this open A then the G string then the D string then the B and then end it with the open A and then back to the D so you just do the pattern there and then lift up the second finger just kind of descend to the top three strings twice. So out of the A. And then you would go back through the same chords again. All the way back through the A to the D. That little descending line and then take it to a D7. I like to strum this is when it starts to, starts getting bigger. So we're gonna have open D, second fret on the G, first fret on the B, second fret on the high E. There is kind of. If you want to do that, open high E with a third fret on the B. So you, you play the chord, kind of leads you into the next part. It sounds like this. to the verse. So those chords is just the G and coming out of the D7. It's a G to an A to a C and to a G again. Repeat that. Now 
Now you get that last G and then jump to a B minor 7. There's a bar at the 2nd fret there, 4th fret on the D, 3rd fret on the B string. So just strum 5 strings, then an E minor. And then basically what you want to do here is just hit the open A string, grab an A sus 4 chord. So you're going to do that, let's say an A major chord. But before you hit that A major, you move your little finger up one fret to the third fret on the B, hit that chord, and then back to the A. And then we're back. All right, so that's pretty much all the parts of the song. You just want to keep note that the order that everything goes in changes a little bit after this. When they go to the A, Then back. So basically, does the second half of it in like twice in a row. So you'll hear that. It's but you should probably pick up on it pretty easy if you know the sound of the song. And there's not many chords to this, so it's pretty obvious what each one sounds like. It's just the second half is just going to be in a little bit different order than you heard it when you first heard it. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for GuitarLessons365.com. Bye bye.